Hi, I'm Dominic Craig, team driver for Team X-Ray, and today I'll show you how to build the ULP shops. So I've been seeing a lot of uh, posts online about how people cannot get zero, zero rebound on these shops. So today I'll show you how. So I've, I filled this uh, ULP shop with Kudi 400 oil and it's a 4 hole 1.1 piston. So the, I think the trick to building the ULP shops is to slightly overfill the shops. So as you can see, I filled it just about level with the top of the body so that when the piston goes all the way up, air doesn't, there's no air that goes in, uh, into the hole. So with the piston all the way up, this is how I bleed the shock. So I take the membrane and I place it on top. And then you hold the shock body, use a 3mm ball tool. And you, you use the ball tool and press the membrane down. Uh, the middle of the membrane down so that when it goes down the piston goes down as well so put it in the center and you just push the membrane down until it sits nicely in the shock in the shock body and you squeeze it until uh, no more oil can come out. So the x-ray membrane is very flexible. So you can really push it down all the way. And there, that's the maximum. And then now, the excess oil will flow everywhere. So I just draw the shaft down. And I just use a towel to clean up the excess oil. Okay. So you just check. With the, okay, so now with the shaft all the way down, you just use the two again one more time to make sure that the membrane is seated all the way in. So sometimes a little more oil can come out, so you just squeeze it all the way out. And then you take the, the top plastic bit and the nut, and you line up the two holes together. So the hole in the alu piece and the hole in the plastic piece, I put it together. And facing up, you put it into the shop. Sometimes you have to tread backwards, okay. So now it's in the tread, and you just turn the body and the holes are facing up, so all the excess oil and air can escape the shock. Okay. Just clean it up. And now, so with the ULP shock, it's shorter but the shaft is the same. So, so you can never, the shaft can never fully compress because it will hit the membrane. But, when you use, when you use a string retainer, you can see that with the retainer on, it can compress all the way, and there's no rebound. So the shock is completely dead. The shock is completely dead throughout the movement of the shaft. And this is how I built the ULP shock with zero rebound. Okay.